Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending this uh, very great occasion, swearing in of a new mayor and three new commissioners. Before we start, I'd ask that you take a moment, take your phone out, and please put it on silent. I know I always forget. If you could take a second to do that. We're here together with family, friends, residents, elected officials from across Miami-Dade County, former commissioners, current commissioners, and soon-to-be incoming commissioners. I'd like to take a moment now to introduce our commissioners and some very important people that have come out for this event tonight. I'd like to start out with um, introducing our mayor, Enid Weissman. <laughs> Commissioner Robert Shelley. <laughs> Commissioner Mark Narotsky. Uh, Commissioner Denise Landman could not be here, but she had her parents attend in her place. Mr. and Mrs. Landman. <laughs> Commissioner Billy Joel. <laughs> Commissioner Rachel Friedland. <laughs> and Commissioner Dr. Linda Marks. I'd like to now introduce our incoming mayor and commissioners. Commissioner-elect Amit Bloom. <laughs> Commissioner-elect Michael Stern. <laughs> Commissioner-elect Paul Cruz. <laughs> And I don't know if you heard of this fellow, if Mayor-elect Howard Weinberg. <laughs> if you would, please indulge me. I'm just going to acknowledge some people that have come out today from uh, the community, other elected officials. Commissioner from North Miami Beach, Fortuna Smuckler. <laughs> from Golden Beach, Mayor Glenn Singer. Commissioner Ken Bernstein from Golden Beach. <laughs> Rabbi, religious leader, Man, uh, Rabbi Mendel Rosenfeld. <laughs> Elaine Adler, Aventura Marketing Council President. <laughs> Former commissioner from uh, Sunny Isles Beach, Lou Thaler. Introduce Jackie Sofer, CEO, Turnberry Associates. <laughs> Former Commissioner um, Jonathan Evans' wife, Joanne Evans. <laughs> Representing Miami-Dade County Mayor uh, Daniel Levine Carver is Melanie Burke. I'd like to introduce Chief Judge from Broward County Court, Ken Gottlieb. <laughs> Miami-Dade County Court Clerk, Judge Miriam Lair. <laughs> Religious Leader, Rabbi Forta from Aventura. <laughs> Former Aventura Commissioner, Luce Weinberg. No relation. <laughs> FIU Vice Provost Pablo Ortiz. <laughs> Commissioner Phyllis Smith from North Miami Beach. <laughs> County Court Judge Linda Singer Stein. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Newly elected State Representative. For us, Fabian Wasabi. <laughs> Former Aventura uh, Mayor Jeff Perlow. 
Commissioner Fabiola Stuyvesant from Sunny Isles Beach. Our own Rabbi Guido Cohen, Aventura Chaplain. I apologize if I missed anybody when you were coming in late. Uh, we can make up for that later. But at this time, I'd like to have the, present the colors of the, uh, from the Aventura Police Department. If you would all stand, please. I will now ask Hadass Levy to lead us or uh, perform the national anthem. Who say can you see by the dawn's early light when so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming Whose brown stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was Thank you very much. Please remain standing. I'm going to invite members of the Aventura Youth Council to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would invite Rabbi Birkin to lead us in the invocation. Please be seated. Before we pray for Aventura, let's first pause and pray for America 
In the wake of our recent national election, let us pray for a new day that brings healing, collaboration, communication, and compromise. May this nation unite under the will of the people, indivisible, with liberty and with justice for all. Tonight in particular, we give thanks for the city of Aventura, this city of excellence. How blessed we all are to live here, to work here, to play here, and how grateful we are to belong to a city that often acts more like a community than a municipality and sometimes more like a shtetl than a city. The past several years has brought many challenges and Aventura has ascended to meet them all. We've been there for each other. We have protected the vulnerable. We've cared for our children. We've safeguarded our seniors. Let us never forget that all of that begins in this room. This commission, together with our mayor, has been the team that sets the tone. You chart our course, you lead the way, you do the work. And tonight we thank the team that has served and we bless the new team that takes their oath of office tonight. We ask God's blessing upon the outgoing mayor of our city, Enid Weissman, commissioners, Denise Landman, Bob Shelley, Mark Narotsky, and we ask God's blessing on our newly elected incoming Mayor Howard Weinberg, Commissioners Paul Cruz, Michael Stern, Amit Bloom. And we ask God's blessing on our continuing Commissioners Dr. Linda Marks, Vice Mayor Billy Joel, Commissioner Rachel Friedland. May you all exercise your responsibility with wisdom, with fairness, with morality. May you be filled with love and with kindness. May you walk with integrity along the paths of righteousness and peace. May God watch over you and may all of your actions be as worthy in the eyes of heaven as they are from the eyes on earth. May our city, our state, and our country be a blessing to all who dwell here and beyond. May we be partners with God in creating a better city a better nation, a better world. May we be your instruments, O Lord, so that when we gather here again in the next election cycle, we will reap the fruits of our labor and celebrate a society that shines. I offer on behalf of this glorious, momentous occasion, the blessing of gratitude and thanksgiving in the Jewish tradition, the Shechianu. Baruch Ata. Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Shehechianu Vikiyamanu Vihigianu Lazman Hazeh. Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive, who has sustained us, and has enabled us to reach this significant day, as we all say. Amen. Mazel tov. Now for the hard part. I'm gonna ask uh, all the uh, staying commissioners to take their place on the dais. Thank you, Rabbi for Birkin, for those inspirational words, as usual. Um, good evening, everyone. I am Elisa Horvath. I'm your city clerk, and I'm also the supervisor of elections for the city of Aventura. Um, it is my honor and distinct pleasure to provide the oath of office for your newly elected commission members. Um, before we get started, I would like to tell you what an honor it's been serving with Mayor Weissman, with Commissioner Shelley, Commissioner Narotsky, <laughs> and 
been uh, Commissioner Landman, um, who's not here, but I know her mom's over there. Um, it's been really a pleasure serving with you all for the past eight years. You will be missed. All right. If everybody is ready, um, we were going to start with seat two. There was only one candidate who qualified for the office of Commissioner Seat 2, and Michael Stern is thereby elected without opposition to the office of Commissioner for Seat 2. Commissioner-elect Stern, please join me over here for the administration of your oath of office. You can have your wife come up if you want. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Can you? I, Michael Stern. I, Michael Stern. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. I will support, defect, and defend. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The State of Florida. The State of Florida. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the States. Under the Constitution of the States. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Perform the duties of the Office of Commissioner. Perform the duties of office of the commissioner. Upon which I am now about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Only happens once. <laughs> <laughs> or twice. <laughs> what are you kidding? In For seat four, there was only one candidate who qualified for the office of commissioner seat four, and Paul A. Cruz is thereby elected without opposition to the office of commissioner for seat four. Commissioner Let Cruz, please join me for the administration of your oath and any family members that would like to join you. It's a family affair, you know. Yes, you can go on. I'm left-handed. Ask her if she says I do. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Paul A. Cruz. I, Paul A. Cruz. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The State of Florida. The State of Florida. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the State. Under the Constitution of the State. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Perform the duties of the Office of Commissioner. Perform the duties of the Office of Commissioner. Upon which I am now about to enter. Upon which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, seat six. There were two candidates for the office of commissioner, seat six. 
Following the election on November 8, 2022, Amit Bloom received the most ballots cast, approximately 71.76%, and is thereby elected to the Office of Commissioner for Seat 6. Commissioner-elect Bloom, please join me for the administration of your oath of office. <laughs> Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Amit Bloom, I, Amit Bloom, do solemnly swear and affirm, do solemnly swear and affirm, that I will support, protect, and defend, that I will support, protect, and defend, the Constitution and Government of the United States, the Constitution and Government of the United States, the State of Florida, the State of Florida, and the Charter of the City of Aventura, and the Charter of the City of Aventura, that I am duly qualified to hold office, that I am duly qualified to hold office, under the Constitution of the State, under the Constitution of the State, and the Charter of the City of Aventura, and the Charter of the city of Aventura. That I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully perform the duties of the office of commissioner. Perform the duties of the office of commissioner upon which I am now about to enter. Upon which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, I think we're all done. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Only kidding. Like, I could forget you. <laughs> There was only one candidate who qualified for the office of mayor, and Howard S. Weinberg is thereby elected without opposition to the office of mayor. Mayor elect Weinberg, please join me for the administration of your oath of office. <laughs> Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Howard S. Weinberg. I, Howard S. Weinberg. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The State of Florida. The State of Florida. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the State. Under the Constitution of the State. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And the Charter of the City of Aventura. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Perform the duties of the Office of Mayor. Perform the duties of the Office of Mayor. Upon which I am now about to enter. Upon which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Aventura City Commission. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, now what? <laughs> good evening. Friends, good evening, families. Look at this room. You know, I read somewhere about a politician that likes to brag about the size of the crowd at his inauguration. <laughs> we don't brag in Aventura. I'm certain that all of the commissioners Join me in feeling humble at this turnout. This is symbolic of the positive energy that permeates our great city. Standing room only. By the way, new commissioners, don't get used to this. <laughs> and the number of public servants that are here tonight. What a show of respect for our city. Amazing. I mean... If Ron didn't read the list of dignitaries, we'd already be at the after party. <laughs> so, you know, public service is a calling and um, it's usually thankless. So please indulge me for one moment. All of you that have served currently or in the past, please, I want a round of applause for all public servants. <laughs> And I noticed some veterans in the room. I want to thank you for your service to our great country. At this time, Commissioner Stern has the floor for some remarks. All right, it's awesome to see such a packed house. Okay, here we go. 17 years ago, I was sworn in as one of South Florida's youngest commissioners. And Commissioner Luz Meinberg is also here. I think we are both two of the youngest commissioners in South Florida. I served for almost 10 years. At that time, I knew we lived in a very nice city and had good leadership. But I learned very quickly that we live in a great city and have great leadership. We fast became a model for other cities to follow. Our city manager at that time, Eric Soroka, was someone very special. Even though technically I was his boss, I looked up to him and learned so much about being an elected official. He was a role model for me. I remember our city clerk, Teresa Soroka, who was also amazing, saying that at first I didn't talk much, but when I did, I had strong opinions that she mostly agreed with. I will never forget that. Here I am, this new commissioner, trying to learn and to hear and hear that gave me such confidence. One of the greatest lessons I learned, besides being the best teammate I can be, was to be a good listener and think before I speak. Another great takeaway was the special bonds that form from being in office. Here are just a few of those individuals that are all still here today. Kimberly Merchant, where are you? Kimberly juggles so many things and always finds a way to have everything work so well. Our parks, events, programs, activities, facilities all fall under her leadership. When was the last time you heard any real issues or problems with any of these services? I have not stopped working with her since I left the commission in 2014. She is an invaluable, an invaluable asset to Aventura. Commissioner Billy Joel. Hi, Billy. I served nine and a half years with Billy. Not only did we work so well together, we had fun. Billy, it's time to have fun again. Billy, I have so much respect and admiration for everything you have done for the community and for me personally. Billy is the longest serving commissioner in Aventura, 
history, 11 years. I am second with just under 10. He wants to make sure I don't pass him. Billy, I look forward to many years working with you, and I'm very happy to be in second place. <laughs> Commissioner Howard Weinberg. I sat next to Howard for two years. We'll come back to Howard in a minute. <laughs> Alyssa Horvath, our city clerk. I did not have the chance to get to know you much in the brief time I was on the commission. Since then, I got to know you much better. These past years, any time I've seen you or had any interaction, you have always been so welcoming. You are a rock star and one of the nicest people I know. Aventura is very fortunate to have you on our team. Where's, okay, clap, sure. Where's Evan? Evan Ross, where are you? Evan. Evan Ross, who is now our communications director. I did not understand why this young man dressed so nice, came to all of our meetings. Evan, you were so mature, way beyond your, beyond your years. I'll never forget how impressed I was with you back then. No surprise, you're currently taking communications for the city to a new level. You have already transformed the way the city communicates with the public, creating more channels for our outgoing and incoming communication, something we, we had very little of back then. You create contact with, which is engaging, informative, and entertaining. Other cities will be taking notes. You probably know more about Aventura than anyone else I know. We are very lucky to have you here, and I can't wait to see what new ideas and projects you come up with. Elaine, where are you? Elaine? Okay. My wonderful people list from this previous commission would not be complete without another rock star, Elaine Adler. El <laughs> Elaine has been one of the most wonderful partners for the city of Aventura. She has done more for the community than anyone else. Elaine, I will never be able to reciprocate all that you have done for me, and the business community is so much stronger because of you. Thanks for always being there, no matter what the situation. When I was in office, people would ask me all the time, how do you deal with the problems, the complaints, the headaches? It must take so much of your time. I would always, I would always respond, when you have a great manager, dedicated employees, people helping promote Aventura, and work with elected officials that believe in being ethical and having integrity, it's not that hard. Since leaving the commission in 2014, I stayed involved. I was a member of the Community Service Advisory Board. I helped launch the Aventura Police Department Community Ambassador Panel, better known as CAP. A special shout out to my daughter, Jordan, who surprised me last night to be here today. If you see the pictures of the red car, it was Jordan who helped make the graduation parade we had during COVID, COVID such a success. CAP was born from this event. In launching CAP, I got the chance to work closely with our assistant city manager, Brian Begeese, who at that time was the chief of police. I then had the opportunity and the privilege of working with our current chief, Michael Bentalia. They both gave me the opportunity to work closely with them. They trusted me, I trusted them. Both are wonderful people and incredible leaders who I admire greatly. We are so fortunate to have them both here. Aventura is absolutely one of the safest cities because of these two gentlemen. Yes. Uh, Chief Bentalia, I look forward to continue working with you to support the Aventura Police Department as well as the Aventura Police Foundation and Community Ambassador Panel, CAP. Brian. You opened the door for all this without knowing much about me. I am so grateful for the opportunity to have worked and learned from you when you led our police department. I am now very excited to be working with you in, our, in your new position. Great things are gonna happen. I watched the next two commissions continue where we left off and they have done a fantastic job. We are saying goodbye to three great commissioners. Denise Labman, who is not here. She replaced me and now I'm replacing her. This would mean that Denise and I together will occupy C2 for at least 21 consecutive years. Not sure that this record will be broken anytime soon. Denise, bring, Denise brings an energetic and youthful perspective. Notice I say brings and not past because she's not going anywhere. We have plans for her to stick around. 
Denise, and I, Denise, I know you're not here, but I'm very happy I recently got to know you better. Her parents are here. Please give her the message. <laughs> Mark Narotsky is that quiet but very strong voice in the background. He made sure that we were being very efficient with our spending. He was not afraid to voice his opinion, even if it was not a popular opinion. Every city needs a Mark Narotsky. Bob Shelley, he was our development expert. I can't recall a meeting where Bob did not offer his thoughts and advice about all projects and developments that came before the commission. Our landscape is better because of him. We also say goodbye to what I feel is one of the best leaders Aventura ever had. And she's on her phone, hope she's listening. <laughs> so many great things have been said about our Mayor Enid Weissman. For many years, people will remember her great leadership and how she helped shape the city to what it is today. She was never at a loss of words, always speaking from her heart. She made handing over the baton to a new mayor and commission so seamless. She also made sure the three new commissioners were prepared and ready to go. I am speaking for so many people when I say thank you for dedicating so much of your time to make sure Aventura remains excellent. Denise, Mark, Bob, and Enid, your contributions to Aventura over the past eight years will leave behind an impact that will be here long after you are gone. After we are all gone, I should say. I plan to stay in touch with all of you and get your opinions from time to time. The collective knowledge you have gained from serving these past eight years is priceless. You did a wonderful job representing us. I believe I'm speaking for the three other newly elected commissioners that we are so appreciative of how you welcomed us during this transition. Okay, it's time to go to us now. In addition to Billy Joel, the new team includes two other existing commissioners, Rachel Friedland and Dr. Linda Marks. All very intelligent and add so much to the conversation. Rachel, you're like family. I love that our kids, our friends, and you and Randy have a special bond. It's incredible how you manage to be a super mom, a lawyer, a commissioner, and have the same energy no matter where you are or what time of the day it is. Your generosity and passion for doing good is admirable. These last two years, you've helped begin a new era in Aventura. Linda, Linda Marks. I remember when you approached me when you were initially running for office. You were the first incoming commissioner to ask for my support. As we lose one educator from this commission, I am also very happy to know that you aren't going anywhere. Your background will continue to serve our students as we maintain and hopefully grow this world-class educational opportunities Aventura provides to our children. You have so much wisdom and you have so much experience to contribute. I am very excited to be working with all three of you. <laughs> On the end, we have Robert Myers, our city attorney. He is top of his class. There are so many other cities who would benefit from his guidance. We need to make sure that we do not lose him. Ron Wasson, our city manager. Ron, the second day on the job, you attended an Aventura Marketing Board Council board meeting. I remember introducing myself to you and letting you know that if you need any historical perspective, you can call me. Here we are six years later. I finally get the opportunity to work with you. I am so glad we got to know each other back then. Now, working with you makes it so much easier. <laughs> Commissioner Paul Cruz, you have been a pillar in our community for so many years. You bring such a unique perspective from the many other elected officials you have met. You are the heartbeat of our community. As the mayor of the City Hall Annex, better known as that popular deli down the street, you have helped you have had played a role in so much good that has happened for Avent in Aventura for so long. I cannot wait to see what great things you bring to the team. <laughs> Three years ago this week, I was sitting in a hospital waiting room for what would be the first of several surgeries and procedures for my stage four colon cancer. 
It was one of the scariest days of my life, not knowing what the future was going to look like. The last phone call I received, right before I was admitted for surgery, was from Howard Weinberg. He told me I will be fine, and I didn't have a choice but to be strong and healthy, because in three years, we both need to get back to what we both love, being part of this special family we call the Aventura Commission. I can remember this call like it was yesterday. That call gave me the strength I needed to focus on doing whatever I needed to do to be sitting here today. It gave me a goal. It gave me a purpose. It gave me a reason to fight. Howard has been a great friend and a very special person to me. Howard, I will always call you my friend and hope that we continue skiing and biking together for many years. Howard's knowledge, desire, dedication, experience, and always do the right thing attitude will make him a great mayor. I cannot think of a better person to lead us for the next four years. Thank you. Speaking of gaining strength, if you have, to all my friends and family who drove in a parade, participated in the emotional video Evan and Amit did for me, sent me a message, each and every one of you, too many to name. Thank you for all your support, love, and encouragement. I am extremely lucky to have such an amazing people in my life. There are amazing people in your life, and there are great, amazing people that are just a little bit more amazing. Commissioner Bloom. Wow, who would have thought this would have ever happened? Are you kidding me? We have spent so much time together than anyone else I know. We have been through so much. It is hard to believe that you've been promoting Aventura for over 25 years. You're creative, you're intelligent, you're special. When you want something, you are determined to get it. Aventura just became more excellent having you here. I cannot wait to work with you in this new capacity and see what magic you bring. You and David have always been there for me. Just remember, we will always be family first. My son Ryan is here. Ryan, I hope you're proud of your dad. <laughs> Jordan, you have no idea how happy I am that you're here part of this special moment. Stop crying. You're making me cry. <laughs> Roz is here. I'm sorry. I mean, my mom is here. She hates when I call her Roz. I know how proud you are right now, and you're right, everything is gonna be fine, and it's fine. I love you all very much. Finally, none of this would be happening if it wasn't for the most special person in my life. She puts me first before anything, never complains, never slows down. My wife, Randy, was the lead rock star who helped guide me back to full strength and supported me every step of the way for the chance to be sitting up here again. You mean the world to me, and our team is the most important. I love you. A message to my fellow commissioners and everyone else who's on this team and up here on the dais. We are all incredibly fortunate to live or work in a city which truly sets the example for others to follow. I know we will face challenges, but as long as we listen to what each other has to say, do the right thing, speak from your heart, there is nothing we can't handle or accomplish. I believe in the word we, not I. I believe a team gets more done if they work together. We are going to be a fantastic team, and I am so honored to be part of it. Thank you to everyone who has been there for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner Stern. I understand that Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Rundle has joined us, so I want to recognize her as well. I, can't, I cannot stress enough when public servants choose to join us, the kind of respect that shows for our city. These are very, very, very busy people, and they want to be a part of what's happening in Aventura. I assure you, Kathy is not here to investigate us. <laughs> 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 uh, 
At this time, Commissioner Cruz has the floor for some remarks. Good evening, everyone. If I am not for myself, who will be for me? If I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? The sage Hillel's words stick with me as I think about what it means to be a public servant. Democracy provides us all the opportunities to be ourselves. Voting can be a selfish act, considering only whether a candidate will serve your own interests. Because as Hillel said, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? But, if, but it can be a selfless act too. Casting a vote for someone who will, who will serve the broader public good. If I am only for myself, what am I? I ran for office not to be for myself, but to do for a community that I love, which has, which has given me so much. Aventura is a special place. It is where I've raised my wonderful children, Ilan, who is sitting here, Nikki, Ofri, and Eden. It is where I met my beautiful, extraordinary wife, Marion, who shares my passions and dreams and is always by my side to do everything I do. It is where I've had the opportunity to immerse myself in a career I love with my longtime partner and dear friend, Mo, who's here as well, who has always supported all the activities to engage with the great people of our city on a daily basis. It's home to a diverse collection of people who come from places near and far, have lived lives of struggle, tragedy, and triumph, as well as luxury and charity. As a proud Jew, I was taught from an early age that my mission in life is tikkun olam, to do my small part to repair the world. That can mean so many different things to so many. It does mean so many things. Anyone who knows me knows that my activism is rooted in my Zionism. Just as we seek to maintain and strengthen our Jewish homeland, I take great pride in the way our Aventura community comes together to strengthen our bonds, support one another, and do good for others. Moe's plays host to so many people and events, both political and charitable. Those events have given me the opportunity to learn from many people and organizations about a plethora of issues. Each of them has given something in common, though. They want to make their community a caring and better place, a place where we respect each other and celebrate our diversity of culture, heritage, and thought. For me, this is what running for the Aventura Commission was all about. It is what will guide my service. But tonight, I must announce that I will not accept the title of commissioner. No, I much prefer to be known as the Kanish. <laughs> First, I'd like to extend my deepest appreciation to outgoing commissioners Narotsky, Landman, Shelley, and Mayor Weissman. Our great city has been very fortunate to count on your exceptional leadership, and I am blessed to call you my friends. I'm sure to, I speak for the current commission when I say we hope we continue to count on your invaluable experience and good counsel. Mayor Weissman, you are truly an extraordinary leader and role model. In an age of extreme political and social polarization, you personify the true meaning of service, always bringing out the best in others and giving them all the credit for all your immense accomplishments. Thank you all. <laughs> Working alongside these six wonderful people I have next to me here, um, I will have the honor of serving with, I, as well as our amazing staff led by Ron Wasson and uh, Chief, uh, Assistant Manager Brian Pegues, Chief Bentalila, and Elisa Horvath. We get the opportunity to continue this city, to make a city a better place, and to reach beyond our borders to do good for others. 
Mayor Weinberg, you are, a rel you are a relentless advocate for progress and innovation. I don't think anyone has desired this position more. <laughs> Worked harder to attain it or is better prepared. I can't wait to work together to implement so many of your great ideas. Commissioner Friedland, you and your children embody everything tikkun olam means. You are forever coming up with ways to help those in need. I'd like to say I'm here to help, but whether I am or not, I know I need to strap in because you will always be there to take those close to you along for the ride. Commissioner Dr. Marks, your career in education and the depth of knowledge you bring to our commission has and continue, will continue to serve us tremendously as we seek to expand educational opportunity for Aventura's children. I am so grateful that our city gets to benefit from your knowledge and dedication, and I admire your confidence to always speak your mind. Commissioner Joel, my neighbor, my friend, and most of all, someone I admire. Your philanthropy is story of legends. The number of lives you have changed with a Golden Gift Scholarship program at FIU is truly a marvel. I look forward to relying on your institutional knowledge as we work together to keep Aventura on the cutting edge, all while re remaining true to how we became the great city we are. Commissioner Stern, you are as genuine a person as I've ever known. A true light of goodness in everything you invest yourself in. Like Commissioner Joel, I look forward to relying on your institutional knowledge, your unwavering dedication to engaging our com community in positive things is truly admirable. I look forward to working with you to promote our best business police department and, and create opportunities for our residents to be engaged. Commissioner Bloom, the one who had the easiest path to get here. <laughs> the kindness you exude is palpable, as is your creativity. You have a way of finding the perfect words to convey a thought or idea. I know our communications team is going to be busy trying to keep up with your ideas. I'm sure you've got a, a thing or two to teach us all. As I think about the seven people sitting up here, I reflect on what Mayor Weinberg called us a few months ago, the dream team. Now Michael Jordan and company might have something to say about that, but I don't see him waiting to speak at pu a public comment. This group of public servants is a dream team. We complement each other. We bring different skill sets and life experiences to our shared mission. I know that together, we will continue to make Aventura the envy of South Florida. As we work to create progress for our residents, I come to the last question Halal asked. If not now, when? The time for progress is now. The time to do good is now. The time to come together to strengthening our community is now. I know that with the urgency of now, the intellect between us, and the values and mutual respect we share and will make the city of excellence continue to live up to its motto and be a model and inspiration for other municipalities and beyond. I'm grateful to be part of this great team, a team of passionate, capable, and caring leaders and friends now let's get to work. Thank you, Kanish Cruz. <laughs> I noticed the door open. I thought it was Elijah, but it was the next best thing, Senator Jason Pizzo. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, it might just be easier. Raise your hand if you have not been introduced yet. <laughs> at this time, Commissioner Bloom has the floor for some remarks. Thank you. Lador Vador, from generation to generation, we learn, we grow, and we build upon what the prior generation left for us. If you know me, you know I am deeply proud of my heritage, coming from a family of survivors and fighters. 
My mother survived bombings in Jerusalem just as Israel was becoming the modern nation we know it as today. My father survived the Holocaust with a story that could rival any Steven Spielberg film. Both of them only grew stronger from their experiences and went on to become decorated soldiers in the Israeli Defense Forces. They came to this country with nothing, not knowing the language, and long before they could Google where to go and where to stay. They worked hard, they stayed true to their values, and they set out to make sure that the next generation, me, would be better positioned for success than they were. I'm sitting here today because they taught me to fight for what is right and for what I believe in. Most of all, they taught me to pay it forward, honoring the Torah's mission for all of us, tikkun olam, leaving the world a little bit better than we found it. A week ago, while other cities across the country were drawing lines of partisanship, here in Aventura, we celebrated a united generation of leaders passing the baton to another. That is the brilliance behind the city of Aventura's non-party affiliated commission. It truly does not matter which political party we identify with. Aventura is led by a group of people who have served our city with integrity, thoughtfulness, and care. In the spirit of tikkun olam, our previous leaders are leaving this place better than they found it and challenging us to do the same. Aventura is not led with ideology. In the coming years, we will lead together with our values, ideas, and aspirations driving us to do good for a city that we all love. It's now incumbent upon us to build on the great things our previous leaders did as well as craft a path forward to new innovations and solutions. I'm optimistic, excited, and grateful. Optimistic about a future that upholds the ethics and good governance Aventura has always had. Excited about the opportunity to grow and innovate, and grateful to those who left this city such a remarkable place to live and to conduct business. As a newly elected commission, we will honor what it means to be public servants. We will deliver results just as the last one did. Tonight is a night of gratitude. There are so many people I want to thank for helping me get here. First and foremost, thank you to the residents of Aventura who voted for me to be your representative up on this dais. I don't take this responsibility lightly. I commit myself to being accessible, thoughtful and objective as I make decision, decisions to better this community for all of us. No one gets to this place without a village. My village begins with the Honorable Enid Weissman. <laughs> Enid, when you told me over a year ago that you had my back, I had no idea what the power of those words really meant. <laughs> And I really don't think that I would be sitting here today without your support and guidance. You've been a role model and a mentor. You're the definition of integrity, and Aventura would not be what it is today without you. I'm so sad to not be able to share this dais with you, but don't go too far and keep your cell phone charged. <laughs> and Steve, I promise to limit my calls to only a few hundred times a month. <laughs> <coughs> Next up is my dream team. Howard, Michael, and Paul, I learned so much from all of you when we went into the community to meet the residents. I also learned that Howard has a real gift for marketing speak when he coined the a meet and greet <laughs> after qualifying closed. <laughs> I'm grateful to you all for never wavering in your support for me. You helped me raise money, stood out in the hot sun during early voting, and Paul, thank you for distributing, and Mo, for distributing the chocolates over at the restaurant. <laughs> to Denise, Bob, and Mark, I thank you for your endorsements and encouragement. I know Denise isn't here, but please tell her that I appreciate her braving the hot sun at the polls and posting for me on social media every chance that she could. Bob, after I spent 20 years interviewing people for Aventura Magazine, you get the credit for being the first person to interview me for Williams Island Television. <laughs> Linda, we've come full circle from our school board days. I'm so grateful to have had your support from day one. 
I can't wait to work together on educational initiatives for the city and so much more. Billy, you've been our mentor in business for many years, and I look forward to tapping into your knowledge of good governance and ethics, which have made Aventura wonderful for so long. Rachel, when our boys became friends at Hochberg Prep all those years ago, did you ever think we'd be sitting here together today? <laughs> I know we're both fiercely proud of our children, so I look forward to working hard together to make our children proud of us. <laughs> Danny Bonini, all the way over there, raise your hand. <laughs> you are just simply incredible. I have no idea what I did to deserve such a wonderful friend and supporter. You are tireless, dedicated, and whip smart. I don't know what I would have done throughout the entire early voting process without you. Evan, I know you didn't want me to thank you, but I'm thanking you anyway. You helped me kickstart this journey, and then I had to let you go so that our city could benefit from your talents. But along the way, you've become a good friend, and I can't wait to experience all the great things in store for our communications department. Michael and Randy Stern. Yes, I already acknowledged Michael as part of my dream team, but Michael gets the credit for starting me on this journey back in 2005 when he nominated me to the Community Services Advisory Board. We've shared so much of our adult lives together in business and in friendship, and I'm honored to be stepping into this new role with you by my side. You and Randy are so much more than friends, you're family. I'm grateful to you both for always being there for the blooms. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, David Bloom. You know you are loved when your husband goes through 12 bottles of sunscreen and several 24 packs of Gatorade to stand outside Aventura Library for two solid weeks <laughs> and then covers for you on election day because you're stuck at home nursing a fever. David, you've always been my biggest cheerleader and my partner in everything I've ever set out to do. We're partners in business, we're partners in parenting, and we're partners in life. And I couldn't do any of this without you. And I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Thanks for being my person. <laughs> I'm almost done, I promise. I'm so blessed to live in and now serve this amazing community. I look forward to working hard over the next four years to show my continued gratitude for you entrusting me with this position. The next four years will be filled with challenges and opportunities. And I know that together, we will meet those challenges and create opportunities to continue making Aventura the beacon of local government. When our time, comes, when our time here comes to an end, I hope that we also will be able to pass the baton on to another generation of leaders. Lador Vador, having left Aventura vastly improved and ready for even more success. Thank you, Commissioner Bloom. Now it's time to make a motion to adjourn, right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're done, right? No more speeches. I second that. I, I understand that Dade County Circuit Judge Lodi Jean is here. I want to recognize her. Uh, something about traffic, but no one in this room is going to believe that. Not here in Aventura. So I promise that um, after I speak, we're done. Uh, honestly, this is... Such a surprise to me. Um, being mayor never even crossed my mind. <laughs> w what? I am proud, honored, and humbled to serve as the fifth mayor in Aventura's history. Thank you. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Those are the words of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. 
and they reflect so much about our city. Hey, he's a cane. For 27 years, the people who have sat on this dais and worked in the offices above us have made this city great through consistent hard work. Their dedication to ethics has been second to none. Their commitment to good government is unmatched by any other city. Aventor upholds its moniker as the city of excellence because of a commitment to integrity that has never wavered from those who've been elected and those who've been entrusted to run the day-to-day -day operations of our city, such as our three charter officers, Ron Wasson, Robert Myers, and Elisa Horvath, and the department heads serving under Ron. Credit will often go to us because people know our names, but we know that without your work and the employees that report to you, this city wouldn't be the ongoing success that it is. When you run for office, you're forced to use the words I and me a lot. You promote ideas and your own accomplishments and your record. It's a necessity of campaigning. Now that the elections are over, it's time to get back to what makes Aventura so special. We, we the residents of Aventura, who sit atop the organizational chart of our city. We, the commission, entrusted to represent their interests. We, the city, who shines as a beacon of good governance for all to see. I want to congratulate my friends and new colleagues, Amit Bloom, Paul Cruz, Kanish Cruz, and Michael Stern on your election. I want to thank my friends and colleagues, Rachel Friedland, Linda Marks, Billy Joel, for your support. The seven of us are not just colleagues, as you may have been able to pick up on. We are friends. Hey, this is the part where I told you to nod your head in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I know that from time to time we may have differing ideas about how to best serve the people of Aventura. I also know that no matter how our views may differ, we share common values and goals. There's no doubt in my mind that together we will continue to uphold the greatness we've inherited from those who sat here before us. I take great pride tonight in thanking my children, Anton, Adam, and Ariel, better known as the triple A's, for your love and support. I'm a, I am especially thankful that you have reached an age where my dad jokes are funny again. <laughs> you stood with me at ages three, three, and five, the first time I took an oath of office. Tonight, for the fifth time, you stood with me as I was sworn in, but this time was different. Yes. This is the first time that two of you were taller than me. <laughs> I'm so incredibly proud of who each of you is and the lives that you're building for yourselves. I am so proud of your successes. As I beam with pride, I must give credit where credit is due. You were blessed with an amazing mom who's been the most, yes, the most incredible co-parent that anyone could hope for. You never know what kind of a parent someone will be until it's go time. And you guys won the mommy lottery. <laughs> As I think about the role of a mentor, I can't help but think of Mayor Enid Weissman. I hope I can do half as much good in my life and help a small fraction of the people that you have. Some people come into this world to spend their days maximizing what they can earn. Some spend their days maximizing their experiences. You spent yours maximizing the positive impact you can have on others, most of all, children. I know you've never cared about titles, but you certainly have earned many of them. Teacher. Administrator, chief human capital officer, leader, mayor, friend. Every person who sits on this day as tonight has been enlightened and improved by your wisdom and example. My feet are larger than yours, but that's not the biggest challenge in filling your shoes. No matter where in the world you may be, you should expect to hear from me.
Your term in office may be over, but your guidance and wisdom will be counted on for as long as you're willing to share it. I will send a freebie to Tuscany if need be. <laughs> to, to the outgoing commissioners, Denise Lamon, Bob Shelley, and Mark Narotsky, it was a privilege spending six years serving with you. You're part of the legacy I spoke of earlier. You left Aventura better than you found it. For that, on behalf of this commission and this city, I thank you. <laughs> Bob, the joint email that you and I put out just doesn't happen in other cities. It shows how special we are here in Aventura, and I appreciate you. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention someone who isn't with us tonight, our dear friend, Jonathan Evans. Though we expected to have the opportunity to serve together, Jonathan left this world prematurely at the beginning of this year. Twice, he called me from the ICU to tell me he was fighting hard and he wanted so badly to fulfill our dream of serving together up here. He left behind a legacy of generosity, wit, and kindness. He also left behind a group of friends and family who miss him dearly. I am so touched to see his wife, Joanne, here this evening. As I wrote these remarks, I couldn't help but think of my parents. Their memory is a blessing. From the time I was a child growing up in Orange, Connecticut, they instilled the importance of public service in me. My dad served on the town's zoning board and the board of finance, using his accounting and banking background to help ensure our community remained fiscally sound. Tremendous potential of both human and natural resources exists within our own community. In order that we and our children may realize the full benefit of this potential, thoughtful planning must be exercised. Enlightened governmental representatives are required to attract more compatible industry to our city, to both broaden the existing tax base and ensure a stable tax rate for years to come. The responsibility to taxpayers does not end there. However, increased tax revenues will not return the greatest value for tax dollars unless city officials are dedicated to the task of prudent expenditures in areas of education, open spaces, and recreation, to name a few. Those are not my words. Those are the words of my father as a 33-year-old candidate for the zoning board in my hometown. True then, true today. I am grateful that public service is in my blood. My mom taught me to engage with people and to try to be a friend to as many people as possible. When someone new moved to Orange, she would knock on their door, presenting them with a care package full of gifts and important information about schools, businesses, houses of worship, and whatever else might be helpful to them for them to know as new residents. My mom was a one woman welcoming committee for 20 years. A moment of personal privilege. When I was growing up, there was a picture in the den of my father and his friend standing in the Dead Sea, taken in 1969. They had their pants rolled up. I think my dad was holding a bottle of Coke. It was lifelong, wonderful friends. I'm so proud that Marsha and Stan Ryder are actually here tonight. Thank you for coming. My sister and brother have always been there when I've needed them. They've supported me in life, in work, and in public service. Being the middle child is supposed to be difficult. But having an older sister and a younger brother was a gift from God. It certainly made me a better negotiator when I went to law school. <laughs> there are far too many people to thank tonight. Each of you who has supported me knows how I feel about you and how grateful I am to you. Most of all, I'm grateful to the residents of Aventura who've given me the privilege to serve as your mayor. Now for the exciting stuff. Let me tell you about a few of the things we're gonna do as this commission hits the ground running. Aventura's digital welcome, welcome package will roll out in 2023 and offer new residents the opportunity to get to know our city and our commission and our staff and all that Aventura has to offer. Our communications capabilities are moving forward in quantum leaps and bounds. We're going full speed ahead. 
We're not looking back. The time has come for the public to be able to watch our meetings live without having to be in these chambers, although I like it that you're here. Tonight, this swearing-in ceremony is being live streamed. Moving forward, every one of our commission meetings will be as well. In addition, Aventor's Government TV channel will be rolling out soon and providing another platform for communicating. The public deserves to be able to see what we do at these meetings as it happens. We are incredibly fortunate to have a community services department that consistently delivers at the highest levels, whether it's our camps, our sports leagues, or a major event like Founders Day. We can always rely on them to exceed expectations. I believe the time has come to ask for more. There's no doubt that they can deliver an expansion of programming that grows recreational opportunities for all ages. We just have to make the investment in making it happen, and we will. We've led the way with microtransit, with Aventura being home to the largest fleet of freebie vehicles in the country. This free on-demand electric ride-sharing service is incredibly popular and changing the way our residents and visitors commute within Aventura. You have my commitment. Aventura will continue to invest in freebie and we will expand service. Okay. Public safety will continue to be a priority. One area where we need to be more robust is marine patrol. Much of our boundary is water. It's part of what makes Aventura so charming, but it can also be a vulnerability. As, as such, we will work together with our waterfront neighbors to have more law enforcement's presence on the water. I know that Chief Bentalila will make this a reality. Everyone in Aventura understands that there is little land left to be, de to be developed and it is expensive. Everyone here with children also understands that our schools simply don't meet the demand for the number of students who want to be able to learn and grow right here in Aventura. 1,600 students on the waiting list is unacceptable. We are committed to expanding educational opportunity in Aventura. We will find a way to deliver a new school. Doing so will allow Aventura's family to avail themselves of the world-class education our municipal charter schools currently provide. I believe in a holistic approach. Having great schools and a great police department requires recruiting and retaining the best and the brightest, the best police officers and the best teachers. Aventura deserves nothing less. It is a challenge to bring in the best talent, especially because of the high cost to live in our beautiful community. That is why I'm so pleased to tell you this evening about an initiative I've been working on with a public-private cooperation that will provide an opportunity for those that educate our children and those that keep us safe to live affordably in the city of excellence. I'm talking about luxury residential development like we're accustomed to in our city. But dozens of the units will be reserved at below market prices for our law enforcement officers and our teachers. <laughs> this game changer will cost our taxpayers zero. Our teachers and police officers will be able to walk to work or take a freebie. I am coining a new term tonight. My hope is that it becomes part of the vernacular very soon with Aventura leading the way. We are going to make it happen. We will provide hero housing for our police and teachers. As we move, as we move forward, I know that I speak for the entire commission and promising you that we will continue to uphold the ethics and smart governance that has made Aventura what it is today. We will continue to adopt best practices, but we will also innovate, making Aventura a model for others to follow. Whether in transportation, technology, or communications, we will lead. We will fight with all that we have to keep your taxes low, your services top-notch, and our entire community beautiful and sustainable. I am so honored to tell you tonight 
that I will be departing for Greece and Israel in a couple of weeks on my first trip as your mayor. Before you ask, this trip will cost the taxpayers nothing. I will be attending the International Mayor's Symposium to Combat Anti-Semitism. It is a lot of flying for only four days. It is not a vacation, but it is important that we lead in the fight against hate of any type. There's no room in our city for racism, anti-Semitism, or intolerance. Aventura is a city of excellence because it is filled with special people who make it so. As the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room on earth. I sit among people who understand and live those words, and we will all stand on the shoulders of those who sat on this dais before us. In closing... This is so much fun. I wish I had another speech. <laughs> In closing, there's a couple of statements that I've always wanted to make from this seat. The first one is, the after party is at the Aventura Hilton and you're all invited. <laughs> that back gate should be open so you can walk there. And if you drive, their parking garage is giving free parking. The second statement is, God bless the city of Aventura and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. And now I get to use my new gavel to adjourn this meeting.